Let me be clear, I cannot say what has happened to Dawn. What I can say for certain is we're not being told the truth or the whole story about what happened to Dawn that day. What I want to discuss is the things I have found that were happening on or near the day Dawn was injured. Anything else will be speculation on my part, shouldn't be taken as fact and only as an opinion. Also, YouTube is buckling down on graphic content such as injuries that are showing a lot of blood. So, unfortunately I will not be showing the images here. If I do show anything it will be censored or not viewable. Images of the injuries will be posted on my Twitter later for those that want to see it, and want to avoid seeing it on other channels. Here's footage they say was of Dawn and Rainbow together before she was injured. This particular video concerns me. The content creator that posted this intended to make us believe that Rainbow and Dawn loved spending time together on that day and I'm sure they normally do. But, in this video, you can see they were being forced to stay on this rock near the water, just for their content. I'll show examples that proves this. Look here as Rainbow goes to walk off the rock. She quickly jolts back into place. <laughs> To me, it looks like Dawn and Rainbow are looking a little nervous here. <laughs> then again, Rainbow goes to leave the rock and jolts back onto the rock. It's very unnatural and it looks forced. Rainbow looks bored and seemingly has no reason to be on this rock. This is a third time where she tries to leave the rock. It looks like they picked her up and tossed her back down to make sure she's on the rock again. I don't see this as cute natural behavior from Dawn and Rainbow. I see this as them being treated like camera props. Here's more footage they say is of the monkeys before Dawn was attacked. Notice her here in the background. She appears to have food in her pouch. If this was in fact footage of that day, everything seems so calm. What changed? Now, this looks like being treated less like camera props. It is probably one of the reasons, I wonder if this was really the same day. Honestly, I can't tell either way. But we went from forcing the monkeys to stay on a rock, with several VOs around, to filming them undisturbed and peaceful at a relative distance. It doesn't quite match what was previously being shown with the rock and these scenes were in the same video. What do you think? Now this new cut in the video was not my own. Notice again, the vibe changes. What happened between here and the last clip and why does Rainbow seem so agitated by Joy? I'm going to pause right here, because I want to point out a few things that happen relatively quickly. I see that there are at least five VOs surrounding Rainbow, as you can see them in the reflection inside the water. The one agitating Rainbow is Saiyan, not sure how to pronounce his name but that is my opinion on who is making the noises that you will see here. He's the only VO that wears the goofy-ass hats and has long curly hair. I'll also slow this clip down after showing it in regular speed. <laughs> Oh. Oh. 
This is how the video ends, before Don being injured that day. Seon grunting and egging Joyce on. It's like they've trained her like a dog, to do as they command, in my opinion. We've seen this happen in a similar fashion before with Luna, in one of my other videos. Where Joyce is trying to attack Luna from being rough with Rainbow. I will link this video in the description and timestamp where to look. Here's Luna, pay attention to what happens behind her that gets a male monkey chasing her. If you didn't see that, I will slow it down a bit. <laughs> this is after she was chased. I'm going to make this a clip the slowest I can. It's now summer in Cambodia and this VO is wearing winter gloves, very much like Kunthia when she handles monkeys. Why on this day, is this VO wearing these gloves? That's odd to me, and thought I should just point this out. I don't know why Libby is limping in this video. The screeching sounds like rainbow and she picks up her pace. <laughs> Just one day before Dawn was attacked. This video is suspicious to me as it is very edited and was reposted on different VO's channels at different dates. There's also a video of VO posted that I can no longer find and unfortunately I didn't download it before it was either changed to a different title or removed. The title was something like, Rainbow was attacked because of Libby. It looked very similar to video we were shown of the day Dawn was injured, which I will show soon, and it mentions nothing of Dawn. Or the video could have been of this day of Libby that I am going to show now. Both this video clip and the video clip they are saying is of the day Dawn was injured, is very edited by the VOs. Here on the 17th. Now let's go back to April 12th, the day Dawn was reported to be injured and look at the scenarios we were given as to how Dawn was injured. Here's a video posted that same day. You see Rainbow and Dawn play fighting and the title only talks about Rainbow being supposedly attacked. This title is clickbait. She was not attacked and Dawn was not yet injured here. This is really the only time we clearly see Dawn in this video. So much trash everywhere. From the time I started watching the monkeys, to now, the littering has only gotten worse. Now we have an abrupt cut in the video caused by the original creator and we do see a male running. As you can see, there's a lot of cuts here and we're not being shown what's really going on but instead pieces. Oh. <laughs> 
The laughs in this video tells me whatever is happening is being caused by the VOs. It's just a game to them. Here's a video posted the day Don was injured on Facebook. The title is, Seriously Bite With No Mercy. Without help poor baby monkey. Looks to me they were already setting the scene for donations, in my opinion, as it then goes and describes the video as, Seriously Bite No Mercy. Without help poor baby monkey Don, got seriously bite by Libby without mom help. I can't tell if it really is Don. But why in this video, are they blaming Libby here, and elsewhere, they're saying either the Amber Troop did it or a male? <laughs> To me it looks like Rainbow not Dawn. Now we're seeing the same video that we just saw of Rainbow being supposedly attacked by a male, but only here with a different angle and description. Again, a lot of editing. A cut in the video and it's Dawn uninjured. I'm playing this video in its entirety to show that I have not edited or altered this video, and so you can see just how much editing they put into this video. I'm seeing the typical flying objects in this video. I'll point where. Which honestly I'm not doubting that this is in fact Rainbow and not Dawn just by the sounds of her. But I know there will be many people who think otherwise. You can tell me in the comments if you think that is Rainbow with Libby or Dawn. This slow mode is an edit they made and not one that I've done. Thank <laughs> you. 
I want to continue to show the highly edited videos, on their part, that were supposed to indicate what happened, right before Dawn was attacked. I've been through these videos frame by frame and with a fine tooth comb. So I will show you the two vanish points and clips and then I'll show you the frames with pictures. I know this is terrible quality, but here is the beginning of the clip. We see three monkeys. One jumps into the water that is a long-tailed young macaque, whom I think is Dawn. The top one is the male and the middle I believe is Libby. In this photo we can barely see a head that is presumably Dawn popping out of the water, the male looking towards her direction, Joyce down here. Here's a VO's thumbnail. I'm guessing it's an edit to depict that moment. I know I'm not showing these in order, I am deciding to show the photos that are most evident. Here we see a male give a stern warning to this monkey that is all wet, that I believe is Dawn. As we saw in the clip, he doesn't actually attack. In fact, his main target seemed to have been Libby. We can still see Libby running off with Rainbow here and I believe Joyce is the female below her. In that splash of water there's another pigtail but I can't make out who it is, 